Today uh, we are announcing some changes uh, to what we have uh, previously announced. Uh, so at the 70% mark, so that is on Monday, um, swimming pools, which were previously closed uh, until 1 December, uh, will be open. Uh, that's indoor swimming pools will be open uh, for rehabilitation, for child um, swimming, children's swimming lessons, um, organised uh, lap swimming uh, and the like. In addition to that, we're doubling home visitations. We're increasing outdoor gatherings. Um, importantly, um, we are increasing uh, or lifting the caps in relation to weddings and funerals from 50 uh, to 100, um, and that's from Monday. In addition to that, in relation to the school timetable, uh, you'd be aware that we previously had a three-tiered uh, system and, and a three-stage system, which the Education Minister, Sarah Mitchell, will make further comments on um, following, uh, following myself um, and, and the Deputy Premier. Uh, but we'll be bringing forward um, all, uh, all schools to, to return uh, by, the 25th, uh, by the 25th of October. Dr Chan is one of my favourite constituents from Epping, um, and we have a great relationship and always have. Um, but as I, made the, as I made the announcement uh, yesterday, uh, we are moving away from 11am press conferences. Um, the health numbers will now be provided crisis, from next so week. Chief health officer should be yeah, so it's also an economic crisis as well. Um, and as and as and as and as yeah and as and as the new premier, well, it, 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 we're the elected officials, Chris. Uh, that is, um, and styles might be different, and changes get made. But in in my view, we have we had a very constructive uh, discussion last night. And as the health minister has said, these changes are supported uh, by the health team.